We're at Mid Rivers Mall Drive and I-70, the new diverging diamond interchange, and today we're going to drive the interchange. The, the diverging diamond interchange allows uh, turning traffic to access Mid Rivers Mall Drive and I-70 much better than a traditional interchange. And we're going to drive through a couple of the uh, ramps today. We do have lane restrictions up today, so uh, when you drive it during peak times, it will not have these restrictions. At the diverging diamond interchange, there's two signals, one on each side, uh, and you cross over at the signal to drive on the left side of the road. And what this allows is for your, your turning movements to have free turning movements. So if we were gonna go westbound or eastbound on I-70, we would have made a right uh, and we would not have had to stop at a light and then once we pass through this light you will not have to stop at a light to make a left so this allows traffic to flow a lot more freely through the interchange so as we go through the light there will be three lanes on the interchange the left lane will be a exit only or for the entrance ramp on to westbound 70 and the two right lanes will go through uh, to go north on Mid Rivers Mall Drive. So that's a. Uh, so this ramp will take us to get on westbound 70. We're on east, or westbound 70, approaching the Mid Rivers Mall Drive interchange. The right lane is going to be an exit only lane for the Mid Rivers Mall. Part of the project is we built an additional through lane between Mid Rivers Mall and Highway 79. So five lanes will go straight through on westbound 70 after they're all complete. As we exit westbound 70 and approach the interchange, the two right lanes will go north on Mid Rivers Mall Drive needed to get down the north outer road or Old Town St. Peter's you could take the two right lanes uh, the left lane and center lane is a combo lane and it will take you towards the mall so again we have a light we'll approach the light you'll be on the left side of the interchange you'll continue on the left side as you go across the bridge and you'll you need to go uh, access Veterans Memorial Parkway. You can do it, you can make the left, or if you make the right, it'll take you to the light to go straight on the interchange. So this left lane is an exit only for Veterans Memorial. The two right lanes will be, take you on Mid Rivers Mall Drive. And again, we're still in the process of finishing the interchange. So there are traffic restrictions currently that won't be in place once construction is complete. Uh, the interchange uh, from the eastbound 70, there's the far right lane uh, and the next lane, both exit at Mid River Small Drive. Uh, the far right lane is exit only to access Mid River Small Drive. The next lane is an optional lane. You can exit in Mid River Small Drive or you can continue on eastbound 70 and access a slip ramp that will take you to Veterans Memorial Drive. And that's what we're going to drive right now. This slip ramp, you actually go underneath the interchange, exit onto Veterans Memorial, and it'll uh, bring you out before Sumi. As you enter Veterans Memorial Drive, you'll have three lanes of traffic on Veterans Memorial. Again, currently we do have a lane restriction due to construction, but when we are done, this left lane will uh, be an, an entrance onto the highway. This middle lane will go straight on Veterans Memorial at Sumandi, and the right lane will be a right only at Sumandi. Get back on the highway, you'll have your own lane to accept.
accelerate and this lane will continue on to 370 just like it did before construction.